What's the difference between post, put and patch? These are three HTTP methods that often confuse beginners, especially put and patch. I'm going to break down what they do, when to use them and how they behave differently. And we're going to make requests to a real API endpoint to see what's going on under the hood and how each method changes data. So first, let's start with a little bit of context. We're going to be making requests to JSON placeholder slash post endpoint. This is actually a mock API, so it doesn't actually change data, but it simulates post put and patch really well. We can imagine this API is powering a blog and each post in the blog has a title, a body and a user ID. We'll look at how each HTTP method interacts with that, starting with post. Post is used to create a new resource. So when we're sending a post request to the API endpoint, we're asking the server to create something new. In this case, it's going to be a new blog post. And using our API client Postman, we can select the method post and we're hitting the URL slash post. And in the request body, we want to put the data that we want the post to be created with. So this includes our title, our body and the user ID. So what happens when we send this request? The server creates a new resource and it assigns it an ID and the response comes back with the new post and the ID that the server gave it. We can also see we're getting the HTTP code 201 created which indicates to us that the post has been created successfully. And there's some key points to do with post. So post is not idempotent. This means if you hit send twice, it's going to create two new posts. So you want to use post when you are creating a new resource and the server will give it a new ID. Let's move on to put. Put is used to update a resource completely. Think about replacing the blog post with a completely new version. So let's select our method as put and this time we're hitting slash post slash the ID of the post we want to update. And in the request body, we want to include our new details. So our title, our body and our user ID. So what happens when we send this request? The post with ID one is completely replaced with this new object. And if you left something out of the request body when you were sending this put request, it might get completely wiped or set to null, depending on how the server handles it. We can also see we get a HTTP code 200 OK, which indicates to us that our post has been successfully updated. Some key points to note about put is that put is idempotent, which means sending it twice has the same effect as once. So you want to use put when you're trying to replace or update a full resource. Next, we have patch. So patch is when you want to update a part of a resource. For our blog post, we may just want to change the title. Let's set our method to patch. And we also note that we're sending the request to slash post slash one, which is the ID of the post we're trying to update. So in our body, this time we just want to include the data we want to update, in this case, the title. And when we send this request, the post with the ID one has a new title that has been updated. Everything else stays the same. We can also see we get the HTTP code 200 OK, and this means it's successful in updating the post. Some key points to note about patch is that it is idempotent, so sending it twice will have the same effect as once. You should use patch when you're just trying to update specific fields. We can summarize in this table comparing post, put and patch. Post is to create a new resource and it is not idempotent, so sending it twice will create two new posts. And an example of this would be creating a new blog post. Put is for doing a full update on your resource. It is idempotent and a use case would be replacing a whole blog post. And finally, patch. It is a partial update and it is idempotent and a use case would be replacing the title of a post. So next time you're dealing with an API and you're thinking, I wanna create something, use post. If you want to just partially update something, use patch. And if you want to replace the whole thing, use put. It's quite simple, but it is important to understand the clear differences. And if you're still new to APIs, I've created a free guide to APIs. I'll leave the link below for that. And it goes through different methods of sending data to APIs, all the HTTP methods and codes. 
and all of that good stuff. But other than that, I'll see you next time.